Alright guys, it's Kit right here, the unnecessary programmer and welcome to my channel where we, you and me, optimize daily aspects of our lives that for sure don't need any optimization. With all the things happening lately with a certain illness and a quarantine, this led to one awful, awful thing, the cancellation of all the rave parties. I find myself really missing the experience and to be honest uh, watching YouTube videos is not really helping my mood. I need something more. So this gave me the idea why not create a script with Python Turtle that can bring the rave party to our own home. We are going to recreate three iconic moments from a rave party. But before I show you any cutscenes, I must warn you, if you have any problems with flashing lights and uh, stuff like that, this video is not for you. Okay, you've been warned. So now let's go and see the current motivation and the current isp inspiration for this video. video is awesome. <laughs> now what we are going to do is actually create first the iconic white blinking screen, the smooth laser show and of course for our second monitor the cool background. Okay one last thing before we start coding uh, these scripts are better viewed at uh, night for maximum effect. So, that's it. Let's get to work and start coding. Hey guys, a gently reminder. Tap that like button and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video so far. And go, go and subscribe. I've seen my analytics. 17% of you guys are actually not subscribed. Come on, there are some almost cool stuff in my channel, so go for it, subscribe, thanks. All right, cool. Uh, we are going to use Python Turtle for this video. Turtle graphics is a popular way to introducing programming to kids. And of course, what better library to use for all of us grown kids that actually enjoy the rave parties that much. Imagine uh, a turtle uh, not a real turtle, but an image of a turtle on the screen and you give it a command forward and it moves forward then you give it, then you give it a command to move left and it moves left and um, this is actually a uh, pretty simple and pretty cool and uh, you can draw whatever shape you want actually turtle also gives us control over our window screen and uh, our background so we can easily switch the color of our background. Cool, uh, let's get down to business. We will start with uh, the white blinking uh, light screen. Uh, I'm going to fast forward the coding part and um, explain to you guys the key points of this pretty simple Python automation. We start by importing the needed libraries uh, then we create a screen variable. We are using this variable to control the background color and the size of the screen. The logic itself actually is pretty simple. We are looping a thousand times and we are dividing our hex by two without any reminder. Then we set the background color to black. Otherwise, we set it to white. Uh, let's move on to our spiral script. Again, we start with the imports and uh, the turtle screen as variable. Uh, this time we are going to create a variable of the actual turtle, which is used for drawing shapes on the screen. We want to show the turtle image when we are drawing our shape. And this is done by show turtle function. 
Then we set the pen color of the turtle to red and start drawing our spiral in a four loop. Now, finally, uh, we are going to write the final script. Yeah, finally, we are going to write the final script. Cool. It's a little more complicated than uh, this one, but uh, bear with me, actually. Okay, let's start. After the usual imports, we will write a function that will clone the current square shape that we draw. You can play with the size as you wish, but I chose the stamp size to be 3. In order to achieve the laser effect, we are going to tilt the stamp and we are going to lift up the pen on every drawn shape. Then we will use a for loop to draw the desired amount of stamps. Finally, it's time to call, a fu uh, call the function, so we proceed with creating the proper screen and painting the background black. You can put whatever color you like uh, on the laser show. I chose lime for this example because I really, really, really like how it looks. And finally, after the laser show is finished, we clear the screen and draw them again. That's basically it. But I bet you can feel my pain. See me forge and expect me to fail Falling down like heavy rain I know that nothing can never make me stop And now it's time to start the rave bar day Yeah, that's it for this week. Thank you everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this week's video. Uh, please leave a comment, let me know what you think, uh, give me any future ideas, any feedback. It's actually much appreciated. And um, yeah, see you next week. Bye!